everybody. Dave from Mathagon here, and we are going to talk about how to embed polypads into a Google site. So I've started just by making a simple Google site, and I've titled it Embedded Canvases. So I'm going to show us how to get a polypad to show up right in this Google site. So the first one I'm going to do is I want to embed dice into my Google site. So this is a canvas that just has six dice, and you can roll the dice, and I have some activity or some reason on my Google site I want embedded dice that students can roll. So I first want to think about what do I want my students to do? Do I want them to add any tiles to the canvas? I don't. Do I want them to draw on the canvas or make text boxes? I don't. All I want them to do is roll the dice. So now that I've, I've, I've thought about that, I'm going to go get the embed code. So in the toolbar on the right, there's a share embed option. Polypad gives me a reminder that I made some changes to this canvas that aren't saved. All I did was roll the dice, but it was changes, so I need to save this canvas before I can get the embed code. So I've done that. I'm now going to get the embed code. And again, I've thought about what I want students to do. I don't want them to add any tiles at all, so I'm going to not show the sidebar here. I don't want them to use the pen tool or the geometry or the text box or the eraser or the color picker. They might want to move the dice around the screen. Maybe they'll roll, roll them and want to put them in order or something. So I will keep the move tool there. I don't need anything in the settings bar. No full screen, no undo, no grid, no options, no download the image. They don't need to zoom in or zoom out. And I don't want them to copy or paste or delete or rotate. So all they're going to do is be able to roll and move. I'm going to copy this code, this is the embed code, and go to Google site. And one of the options to insert is embed. And I just got the embed code, so what I need to do is click on embed code and paste it here. But I want to show you if you forget to do that and paste the embed code in the by URL option, an error message is going to come up on, on Google sites. So I'll get rid of that, go to the embed code and paste it in. Next, gives me a preview. Yep, that, that looks about right. I will insert it, and there it is. Now, I could hit a preview right now to see what it's going to look like. I'm going to do that. We'll see if this looks like the embedded canvas that I want. There's the dice. If I click on a dice, I can randomize it. I can select all the dice and spin them. Great, there's the embedded canvas. I might want it to take up more of the screen, so I will exit the preview mode, go to the embed code. I'm going to change the width to about 1200. Click next, save, and then I'll just drag this over to have it fill up more of the screen. All right, so I'm moving this over to about here. All right, that looks good. And then I can check out the preview of this as well. So I'll go to preview mode, see if it looks what I like. Yeah, I kind of like how that takes up the full screen. Click randomize. I can roll the dice. And in an embedded canvas, there's always going to be an option to view this polypad on, on mathagon.org. So here I want to show an option of embedding a canvas where I would want students to use the tiles more, copy them, move them around. I have some pattern blocks here at mathagon.org slash tasks. There's a link to a canvas that has these pattern blocks. So again, I, I would want students to be able to copy these, move them around, rotate, change the color. So when I go to share and embed, I don't want the sidebar again. I don't want them to add any tiles to the canvas, but I want them to move the tiles and maybe change the colors. I don't want full screen. Undo will be helpful if they copy one that they want to undo. I don't want any of these other options. They definitely want to copy paste. I don't want them to delete the original tiles. They can undo if they've copied one by mistake and they can rotate. So there's my code. I copy it, go to embed canvas. Again, I want to do the embed code, go to next, insert, and there it is. There's the embedded canvas. Uh, again, as I showed with the other one, I want to make it wider, so I'm going to drag it across to make it take up most of the Google site. There we go. Uh, I'll go to the embed code to make it wider as well, change that to about 1200. Uh, that looks
looks good, fills up the screen. I'm going to make this canvas uh, taller as well. So I'm dragging it down to change the height. But I also need to do that in the embed code. So I'll go to the code here. Maybe we'll make it 600. Save, uh, go next, save. And then I'm going to preview this canvas as I did before. So I go to preview. And there's the embedded canvas. So what I want to show here is maybe I would show students you can move these up to the top and they could design a picture of their own. So I can't uh, delete any of these, which is nice because I don't want students to uh, delete the hexagon and not be able to get the hexagon back, but they can copy it, right? So I've copied the hexagon, dragged it down here. Maybe I'll copy this and bring it down here and start making a picture. But the um, undo button option is there. So if they copy uh, the rhombus, like, oh, I don't want it, they can undo it, but they can't delete this, right? So they have all the pattern blocks to to work with. And again, here's the option to open this in, in Mathagon if you want your students to do that as well. And then here we are back at the Google site. In this last example, I just want to share where I want to use the tiles in my embedded canvas. So this is an activity where I want students to have access to the number bars and the number cards. So I'll go to the embed code as we've done. And now I want to keep the number bars and number cards selected. So I need to unselect everything else. I don't want any of these other tiles to show up except the number cards and the number bars. So I'm going through and unclicking all of these. Uh, I don't want pen tools or geometry or text box or eraser. We'll keep the color picker. They might need to undo. I don't want them to change the background and maybe zooming in and zooming out would be helpful. And we want them to copy, paste, delete, and rotate. So I will grab this code, go to Google site, click embed, embed code option at the top, click insert. As I've done the others, I'll make this wider and then change the width in the embed code to 1200. Go to 1200 here. Next. Save. Check it out in preview mode. And we can see now that the panel on the side with the number bars and number cards comes up. All right. I give it a Close this, and here the scale and the dice look in the right spot. I think I need to make this a little bit um, taller as well, so I'm going to drag this down and then change the height in here. We'll go 600 next and save. When I first opened it in the preview, it didn't look how I wanted, so I changed the height. Now in preview, that looks a little bit better, right? So now students here would roll the dice. This activity was they build that number with the number bars first. So we have a six, a one, and a two. Again, I could have the instructions as text on the Google site if I wanted to. And then in this activity, kids build this on the scale as well. So six, one, two. And then the task was to make this with some different combination of, of number bars. So maybe they'll do three and five and one seems to match up. And then we'll see if that balances on the scale. Three, five, and one. And it balances. There we go. So that's how you can choose to have certain tiles show up on the embedded canvas. I will close out of this and go back to the Google site. Great. So all sorts of great creations can be made on, on Google sites with embedded canvases. Uh, this can work in WordPress and other sites as well where you can embed canvases. But this, uh, in this video, I showed you how to do it with, with Google sites. Thanks for watching.